After over 40 years of making movies, Bruce Willis has announced his retirement ending his career with what should have been a perfect final film, but Bruce Willis's last movie was anything but. Landing his first part in 1980, Willis has appeared on screens big and small nearly 150 times, becoming one of the biggest movie stars in Hollywood. With Willis retiring due to aphasia, 2022's Paradise City was supposed to be the perfect Bond voyage, but ultimately let the legend down. Released November 11, 2022, Paradise City was helmed by Chuck Russell, who also directed The Mask and The Scorpion King. In addition, the film was scripted by experienced screenwriters Corey Large and Edward John Drake. The heartbreaking revelation about Willis's health concerns and his forced retirement led to a lot of anticipation for the movie that would offer one final chance to see the legend on screen. However, the end result was a disappointing end to an amazing career. Paradise City was a classic Bruce Willis setup. In theory, it should have worked. Bruce Willis is known for his quippy, tough guy roles in crime films, and Paradise City was supposed to be a testament to the type of role he built his career on. The actor's trademark character began on the TV show Moonlighting in the late 80s when he played a wisecracking private investigator. It was his role as smart Alec, action hero John McClane in the Die Hard franchise, however, that truly created his legacy. From there, Willis's hit list includes a collection of roles that mostly serve as iterations of McLean, like Butch Coolidge in Pulp Fiction, the voice of Mickey the wisecracking baby in Look Who's Talking and its sequel, Harry Stamper in Armageddon, Corbin Dallas in The Fifth Element, and a stoic turn as Malcolm Crow in The Sixth Sense. Set in Hawaii, the Paradise City film looked like a great opportunity for Willis to do what he does best. The film was described, via Deadline, as similar to Miami Vice but with bounty hunters instead of cops and saw Willis as Ryan Swan, a man bent on revenge. Swan's objective was to fight his way through the Hawaiian crime world to find and kill the crime lord who murdered his father. While the description of Paradise City alone seemed to have the potential to be the perfect final role before Willis's retirement, the movie did not do him, nor the character, justice. Willis's last film also starred his old co-star John Travolta, bringing Willis's career full circle before its conclusion.